Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to the New Year predictions video. So I hope you all had a great Christmas. I hope you're all looking forward to any parties or whatever you're doing tomorrow night. And I hope you've all enjoyed the football. There's been a lot of football on and we kickstart the year with some more football. Now these are my predictions from the last video we did. They are from Boxing Day, so I have actually missed games in between because there's been so much going on so I won't go through all of them basically I got one correct score and one correct outcome so not amazing but I'll take the correct score now I had loads and loads of you guys comment and like the last predictions video I think it's the most I've ever had on a predictions video so thank you to everyone who got involved quite a handful of people got two correct scores but there was only one person who got two correct scores and then got the correct outcome for the two other games, and that was Palfrey. So well done to Palfrey, I have put their YouTube link down in the description and I have subscribed to them, so make sure you do as well. And remember, if you wanna be shouted out in the next predictions video, then get your predictions in the comments down below. But as always, we'll go through the games now. So we've got games on New Year's Day and then we've also got games on the 2nd of January. So what I've done is I've picked two games from each day and we are starting off with the first game of the new year, 12.30, Everton taking on Leicester. So Everton are currently sitting in 10th place, Leicester are sitting in 8th place, and there's just one point between the two teams. Uh, Manchester United in 6th are moving a little bit of a way from the pack now, but 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, it's all so tight around there, so it's a big game for these two clubs. Everton in the last five games have won one, drawn one, lost three, most recently losing 1-0 against Brighton yesterday. As for Leicester, they beat Chelsea, they beat Man City, and then they lost against Cardiff yesterday. Um, so I don't know if they were just having an off day yesterday, maybe playing against Chelsea Man City, two massive wins for them, just took it out of them a bit before they played Cardiff. I mean, big up Cardiff, because they need the points. That was a massive three points for them. Um, but I think Leicester need to try and take the confidence from those two really good wins and keep it, keep it ready for this game um, against Everton. So as for a prediction, I honestly think it could go either way. There are only one point separating them in the league. Um, and that's why I've gone 2-2, yeah. I, I think it could go either way. Next up again on New Year's Day, but at three o'clock we've got Arsenal taking on Fulham. So Arsenal are currently sitting in fifth place. They are five points behind Chelsea who are in fourth and they are three points ahead of Manchester United in sixth. So it's still getting really tight around that Champions League spot. Arsenal obviously want to try and catch Chelsea up as soon as possible. As for Fulham, they are sitting in 19th place at the minute, um, but they're just one point away from 17th. And if you look at Fulham's form now, um, they lost two games, then went and drew two games, and then won their most recent game against Huddersfield 1-0 yesterday. So they haven't had the greatest start of the season. Um, Ranieri's come in, maybe that's starting to take an effect on the team because like I said, their form is definitely improving. As for a scoreline, I mean, two London teams, Arsenal up in 5th, Fulham down in 19th. I mean, it's a Premier League game. Like I, like, I always say this, anything can happen. Uh, but, and, and really, if you're looking at form-wise, you could potentially actually say that Fulham are on the up at the minute, while Arsenal are a little bit dotted around with their results um, but having said that I'm going to back Arsenal just because of the squad they have and I know they've just taken that loss against Liverpool they're definitely going to want to make up for it in front of the home fans on New Year's Day so I'm going to go 3-1 Arsenal next up and moving on to the 2nd of January at 7.45 we have got Huddersfield taking on Burnley so Huddersfield are currently sitting in 20th place and are five points behind 17th place so out of the relegation so a win wouldn't be enough to get them out of the relegation zone but the quicker they can bring in the points the better as for Burnley they are sitting in 18th place so you've got Burnley in 18th Huddersfield in 20th this is a big game for these two. Uh, Burnley are actually on the same amount of points as Southampton who were in 17th. So they could get out of the relegation zone with a draw, depending on other results and obviously a win. So a draw may be enough, but they're going to want to try and grab the three points. And Burnley did beat West Ham today. 
2-0. As for a prediction, it's... It's, an, it's another tough one, this one. Um, you've got Huddersfield, who are at home, so they, they do have the home advantage, however, have lost their last seven Premier League games in a row. And then you've got Burnley, who will be very confident after their win today, or you'd think so, but they haven't won in an away game in a few months now, I think. So I'm going to go 1-0 Huddersfield. But I have no idea. I think I think it's one of those games where if someone scores, they could that, that could be it. I don't think there's going to be a lot of goals in this game. But now that I've said that, it's probably going to be 3-3. And to finish things off again on the 2nd of January, but at 8 o'clock, it's on TV for everyone to watch, and it's Newcastle taking on Manchester United. Newcastle currently sitting in 15th place, lost 4-0 against Liverpool on Boxing Day. Um, I mean, they're top of the league for a reason. They're playing really, really well at the minute. I mean, they, they beat Arsenal 5-1. Um, and then Newcastle went away to Watford yesterday and drew 1-1. I mean, I think I probably would have taken the point before it got kicked off. Just annoying that um, we took the lead through Rondon and then Watford got back into it to grab themselves a point. Manchester United currently sitting in sixth and as I mentioned are only three points behind Arsenal now. So, caretaker manager Solskjaer isn't doing too bad is he three wins in three um it would have been nice if Mourinho had stuck around a little bit longer maybe uh before this Newcastle game I mean Pogba has been scoring goals for fun he's obviously trying to prove it's nothing to do with him it was all Mourinho's fault and I actually said this in a video when Solskjaer came in to take over as caretaker manager as the players would 100% want to prove that there was nothing wrong with them it's all Mourinho's fault and who knows what is actually true, but the players are definitely doing it on the pitch now. As for a prediction, uh, I mean, I've literally just finished watching Man U beat Bournemouth 4-1 um, before I started recording this video, and, and they're looking good. I mean, Newcastle do have the home advantage, however, we haven't actually been doing playing great at home. I don't know what that is about either. Um, and again, doing these videos, trying to stay completely unbiased as possible, I mean, it would be great if Newcastle, Newcastle could kickstart the new year with a win over Man U, but I'm going to go 2-1 Manchester United. But again, uh, it's not what I actually want to happen. It's reverse psychology, although that it, that didn't work when I said that uh, Liverpool were going to beat us either. So... We'll have to see. But that is it, guys. As always, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Those are my predictions up there. Like I said earlier, I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas, and I hope you all have an amazing New Year as well. Make sure to get your predictions down in the comments below. I'll go through all of them before the first game kicks off, which is at 12.30 on New Year's Day. So you've got tonight, all of tomorrow, and then uh, if you're not too hungover or tired, uh, New Year's Day morning to get your predictions in as well. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later.